All right, today we just got this from Amazon. This is sold by SaveSmart. This is a seal light 3D scanner made by 3D Maker Pro. Uh, I wanna do a quick unboxing, show you everything that comes in this. When you open this up, you got your little manual right here in the front. Everything's packaged nice in the box. This is a scanner right here. We have a 110 volt uh, AC to a USB adapter for the to power this. And that's right here, and the prongs fold in. I believe this is 65 watts. And here you can see we have the scanner. The quality of this feels really nice. It's got a nice heavy feel. It feels expensive. You have your USB-C adapter right there that plugs in. A little light that'll come on. The back's just got grooves. I kind of like it for the grip. It feels really nice. I'm really excited to try it out here in just a second. On the bottom, there is a spot for a tripod or a handheld. And uh, we got one more thing left here in the box. So the contents inside of this package are like we have a power outlet. So if you're in a different country, uh, you can use this. We have the power cord here. I'll unwrap this. You can see it is quite long. This end goes to your scanner. Then over here we have, it wires off, if you're curious, it wires off and the other one goes to your power adapter, USB-C, and then a USB that will plug into your computer. So I have the scanner right here. I have my USB-C plugged in. I got the power plugged in over on the wall over there. And then it goes right into the computer right there. I'm using a mini PC for this example, which it runs this program pretty good, but you know, the more power, the better with the computer. And you can use a phone if you get the right data cables. I have this plugged in. I have it on the easy scan. You can see it's blinking. It's not scanning yet, but it is blinking. And if I move it close to the object, if you want to keep your distance correct, you can see that it picks it up on the screen and up on the top right, <clears throat> you can see uh, like the video image. I'll go ahead and I'll start a scan and I'll show you just like the first part and then I'll finish the scan and I'll show you the finished start. Right, so I'm scanning the object. You can see it's picking it all up. And you wanna move kinda of slow at first so you don't lose your tracking. That's the only bad thing I would say about this is the tracking, it, uh, it's pretty easy to lose it with, uh, with this unit for some reason. But besides that, it works really well. All right, so I'll go ahead and I'll edit this and I'll do a couple more scams. It's kind of hard because I'm kneeling down for the camera. <laughs> you can see it kind of messed up in that green spot. But I'll go ahead and do a few scams. I'll just show you the finished pro project after probably two or three scams. So click that and let this let it update. And then I'll just append scan and start another one to add to it. And then you can edit the mesh as well. All right, so I finished the scan of this ATV spindle, and uh, you can see it on the back of the screen there. That was after about three scans, and I deleted, like, I just cleaned up the, around the edges, it had a couple goofs, then I cleaned it up. But uh, nothing real major, didn't take a lot of time. And actually, I 3D printed this. You can see the detail on there, too. And honestly, the detail on this isn't that good because I didn't scan it a whole lot. Uh, I was more worried about the body and the geometry on that. But I took this and I 3D printed it. I reduced the size down 50% just so it was easier to print. And here's what I came up with. It was this right here. And it did really well. Like geometry wise, it, it was perfect. It was right on. So... You can see that, you can see my layer lines, but uh, it gray doesn't hide it very good. But yeah, it definitely printed it well. Ooh, I don't wanna show you that. Support's messed it up. But it def definitely copied it well, and I just took it straight out of this program. 
or the software that you you have to use with the scanner and I put it in a slicer I sliced it and I printed it I didn't really modify anything but uh it's really cool really useful for making stuff and all kinds of stuff like that especially any kind of parts if you're looking for a 3d scanner that is affordable is really accurate and does work good it does lose tracking kind of easy but you know you put it on a tripod and use a turntable that'll fix that but i honestly i really didn't have much of a problem with it and i'm a new user to this so i don't think you probably would either but i would definitely recommend this 3d maker pro seal light scanner if you're looking for one